So I'm going to try and get my model splits. Let's hope it works. We're going to start off with a right side reach. Have your right hand support your hip, keeping your shoulders in line with your hips. For each stretch, I'm counting about two eights in my head. The next one is a flat back. Make sure your back is flat. Sounds easy, but it's quite hard. You can use your arms for better alignment. It is also better to keep your head in line with your back. Now, slowly, with your hands supporting your lower back, lean backwards. Although this isn't a necessary stretch for the splits, I like to go for a full stretching routine in case I injure myself, but you might as well since you're stretching. Don't strain your neck by looking in the direction of where your feet are pointing. Just let your neck follow the line of your back and relax. Push your hips forward for better balance and for safety. Now, do a side reach onto the left. I like to bend and straighten my arms for that deeper stretch, but it is not necessary. Now, go into flat back again. I don't think there's a wrong way to stretch, so in this position, I like to put more weight and push my hip out a little more for that further stretch down the side of my hip and leg. Now, we are going to try and touch our toes. Make sure to not bend your legs. It is okay if you cannot reach your toes or the floor, Practicing it daily or every other day will get you there. This next stretch is called a pyramid pose. Starting on your left, keep your legs straight, left in front of your right. Now, having your hands supporting you on both sides, try and get your nose to touch your knee. Now switch to the right and do the same thing. I am not too flexible on this side, but I'm still working to get there and you can too. Now lunge forward with your knee in line with your ankle and your back leg straight. Use your bent knee as a support for your hands. Set your arms free or basically off any surface that can support you. Here your weight is pushing you down into a deeper stretch. The next step is to have your back knee on the ground. This is a low lunge. Your hands can go back into the original position on your knees. Now from here, you can easily push your weight back onto your back leg, and then you should be able to extend your front leg into this position. It is going to hurt, but if you can, try to get your nose to touch your front knee. If you're really going to push for it, try and flex your foot. This is a half split position. This next stretch is called the lizard pose. Going back into your lunge, both arms should be on the left of your right leg. You're going to go onto your elbows for that deeper stretch in your pelvic area. You have the option here to straighten your leg or have your knee on the ground. But don't worry if you can't do this yet. As an alternative, just continue lunging forward with your arms out, no support. Now go into a squat stretch position. First, kneel. Then have your opposite hand hold your opposite foot. I couldn't shift my front foot forward enough, but in this position it can do some stretching itself it is better to have your knee directly above your ankle. Now back to our first leg stretch, one leg behind the other with our nose touching our knee if possible. Now repeat the stretches on the other side. First with a front lunge, Now with our hands. Now put your back knee onto the ground. From here, Shift your weight back onto your back leg and extend your front leg. Try to touch your knee with your nose. And then back into the forward lunge. Now balance on your elbows in the same position. Your elbows should be on the right of your left leg
Now shift your weight back onto your back leg and don't forget to flex your foot. Now the half kneeling quad stretch position. There is an option for your hand to rest on your knee like this. For a deeper stretch in your back leg, pull your back leg as close as you can to yourself. And then into forward lunge again. Great, and now we're going to go back to our first leg stretch. You can instantly see the difference in stretching in such a short time. Now we're going to go into part two of our leg stretching routine. We're going to go into pigeon pose. Lengthen your spine with your leg tucked under itself. Have your back leg extended and then slowly push out your front lower leg out to the side. Your front knee should be in line with your hips. If you are a pro at this, try and have your front leg at 90 degrees. Now lean forward over your front bent leg for a deeper stretch. Now I don't know what the name of this one is, uh, but here your front leg is straight and extended, but your back leg is bent in line with your hip, also at 90 degrees if you can, basically the reverse of the previous stretch. You can lean over your front leg. What these two stretches are doing is stretching that part between your hips and your pelvis. You will need this for the next stretches to come, and most importantly, for the middle splits. Back into pigeon pose on the other side. To make sure your hips are square, make sure the front of your hips are facing directly forward. If not, you can use your left hand to hold your right leg to realign. Now bend over your left leg. And then what I'm gonna call here, cause I really don't know the name of it, it's just reverse pigeon bows. This position is for a calypso leap in dance as well, but if you know the real name, please comment down below. We are now going to move on to our side lunges. I love these ones. Lunge on your left leg and try have your knee directly above your ankle, you know the drill and your right leg should be straight and extended. Now push yourself into the ground whilst maintaining your form. If you're an intermediate or above, you can go onto your tippy toes on your left for a deeper and lengthened stretch. Now repeat the same thing on your right. Now push yourself into the ground whilst maintaining your form. If you're an intermediate or above, you can go onto your tippy toes on your left for a deeper and lengthened stretch. Having your legs around shoulder width and then squat, try and get at least into a 90 degrees stretch on both sides. Then push your right leg backwards by pushing your right shoulder out a little to fully extend your right arm. Again, I don't really know the name of this position, but this opens up your hips then do it onto the other side. Now put both hands on the floor and straighten your legs slowly and slowly come up with your head being the last thing to roll up. Now shake it out. We're going to go into butterfly position. Here your feet are going to touch each other and your legs and knees are going to push out to the side and then downwards. You can stay in this position or you can lean over your legs. The aim of the stretch is to have your knees touch the ground. So use your hands to push it down gently. Now we're going to stretch our leg again. Extend your left leg to the side with your right leg bent into you, reach your left foot. Here you can pulse and flex your foot.
Now onto your right. Extend your right leg to the side with your left leg bent into you and with your left arm, reach your right foot. Again, you can pulse and flex your foot. Now, the moment that we've all been waiting for, straddle. Have your arms out to the side and lean over from side to side as if you are a rope in tug of war. For now, just reach your feet. Now, try and reach beyond your feet. Now, flex both of your feet and reach your left foot in a side reach. You may pulse. Don't worry if you are a beginner, the more you practice, the closer you will get to your foot. And then to the other side. Now back onto your left leg, instead of side reaching, you're going to reach directly above your leg. So you will have to shift your torso a little. Then the same on the other side. Now bring your legs in together for a short rest. And we will go back into straddle again. This time, pushing ourselves forward to get into that middle splits. We are doing the same reaching stretches again. This time starting on your right. Left side reach. Reach over your right leg with your chest facing downwards. And then left. Now shake it out. And back into butterfly. Now you may be wondering, oh, how long did it take for you to get into middle splits? Um, well, actually, I still don't have it because I have not been stretching. Um, my depression really hit me really hard. And I, I was just a freaking slut. Um, but overall, I've been stretching for a year. I've been stretching on and off because, you know, uh, depression, but also just at school breaks, I don't stretch during that time. But I think you can definitely get into your middle splits in a very short amount of time. I remember getting into my right and my middle splits in like one to two months, um, but that was like consistent stretching. So I think that if you do consistent daily stretching, you can totally ace your middle splits and you can totally go onto the dance floor when the clubs open back up and just like twerk in that middle splits. <laughs> but yeah. We're gonna go back into this rectangular looking position. Again, please comment down below if you know what this position is called. You can push your hips down even more. Now push your knees back by extending your arm fully on your right. And then on your left. Now go into the seal position. All the tension in your back will be released. Then into child's pose. Now the full frog pose. Similar to butterfly pose, except your hips and ankle are supposed to be touching the ground. You can push yourself even more. By going into a seal pose as well. This one hurts so much, but it is totally worth it. Now we are going to widen our hips even more. 
This is another version of frog pose where your legs are out and you're making a box like shape with your legs. You can also lift your torso into the seal stretch as well. Or if your hips aren't touching the ground yet, you can rock back and forth in this position, which helps your hips get used to this stretch. Now hug your knees and shake the tension out. Now back into butterfly. Next, what I'm going to do is shift my weight from left to right in the side lunge position, which helps mobility within the hips and of course also balance. Do this slowly if it's your first time doing it. It is totally fine to use your hands for support as well as you don't want to hurt yourself. Lastly, this stretch for me just feels like it puts my joints back into place, stretching the insides of my legs. Now back into straddle for the third time. Push your torso and arms forward. Make sure knees are not turning in, meaning they should be still facing upwards to the sky or the ceiling, whatever. Flex your feet for the extra stretch. Now a common mistake is that many people have their head uh, touching the floor, but the most important part of your body that should touch the floor is your chest. And as you can see, I'm always looking at my knees constantly because I am making sure my form is good. Amazing, you've done so well. Now hug your knees and shake the tension out. Another exercise you could try is swimming through your straddle. Boy oh boy does this feel like hell. It is okay to put most of your weight onto your hands, slowly pushing yourself through even though your hips are not on the floor. Just do this often and it will come naturally to you. Some stretches that I did not add in this video are the needle stretch, straddle against the wall, sliding into your middle splits and rocking back and forth. One of the like uh, side effects of doing splits and like going full out stretching is that your hips, they feel so weak and you feel like you can't walk or stand. I'm struggling right now. So yeah, um, remember to just stretch out very lightly after this stretch um, just so that you don't harm yourself and uh, I would advise you day after day to increase the time spent on each stretch so you can really get your middle splits or whatever splits you're doing much easier and that is it guys hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to come on like share and subscribe and see ya bye